this is a little bit of a different video, but I finally got every single part I need to build my mining rig. So uh, I guess I'm just gonna run a little time lapse of me building it because there, there's lots and lots of parts. So um, yeah, I guess I'll just run the time lapse. So yeah, let's get started. So I got all the fans mounted and the power supply mounted and motherboard, hard drive. So now what I'll have to do is install uh, four, uh, four RX 580s. So those are the graphics cards I'm going to be using. So I'm going to start installing those now. So my mining rig should be working. Uh, I got everything plugged in. So I guess now is when we power it on and make sure, uh, I guess we just got to make sure that nothing explodes. That's, that's my goal right now because that would suck, but Let's, uh, first power on, I guess. We'll see. That's a really good sign. That's a really good sign. Um. Yeah, here, let me, let me take my phone off the tripod real quick. All right. So, every single RX 580 has the power thing showing on then all our fans are on so those are working uh, cables are a bit messy we got our power switch there um, not sure why oh whoops yeah I'm not sure why it's not displaying right now um, it should be should turn on Oh no, I'm gonna do a little bit of troubleshooting and see if I can fix that. So I'll be right back. This is attempt two. Let's see if this works. I swapped one of the riser cards to a different uh, PCIe slot. So, oh, there we go. SSD, got Windows on it. Um, yeah, this, this is gonna be nice. Um, see so has this boots here. But this is going to be nice because this can just sit in my corner like 24-7 and I can just be playing video games or like whatever and that's just there mining Ethereum, uh, making free money essentially. So now what I'm going to do here, um, I'm going to set this up on the tripod again as I set up uh, the graphics cards. I have, a, I have an overclock profile right here. And then um, I'm going to overclock them all, uh, put them in compute mode, and then we'll see what our hash rate is. Alright, so now what I'm doing is I am putting every graphics card into compute mode. So, have to wait for the app to restart every time. But, should... Should be quick, I don't know, it's taking a little bit, but I'll be back when that restarts. Alright, so I put them all into compute mode, it looks like we also have a driver update, so I'm going to let this just update real quick, shouldn't take too long, uh, once that's done I will apply my overclock and undervolt the graphics cards and we'll hopefully get them to run at 
13 mega hashes per second each so um, I'm really happy with how this turned out though they, it looks really nice I could probably like I I don't know if my power supply could handle it but I think I could fit uh, another card here and another card here and hopefully get six running on 850 watts which um, that would be pretty nice so I think I could do that so looks like um, the update is just about finished so um, I'm gonna restart the PC and apply my overclock and I will see you back here alright so the drivers are now fully updated so I'm gonna apply my overclock profile real quick just gotta load this up gonna go home hold on I gotta remember how to do this I think it's in settings or something might be performance tuning all right yeah here we go so I'm gonna load this profile on every single card so that's that one and we're gonna load profile on this one and then we're gonna load profile on this one all right so now uh, let's test and see we're gonna mine ethereum so hopefully this doesn't die but this should be stable I think it's stable if it's not I'm gonna do a little bit more um yeah oh hopefully I don't know it, it could crash that's a definite possibility oh no they all generated smoothly alright never mind I guess first tries the charm and not like the 300th so that's a great sign so I'm just gonna wait for my hash rate to pop up and as you can see 119 mega hashes a second so that's almost 120 that's that's pretty good for this that's about the best you can get on overclocking and those temperatures right here those are really really good temperatures for a mining rig but it, it is gonna heat up a little bit after I leave it running for a while so yeah there we go now we're getting 120 mega hashes 30 on every single card that's absolutely amazing you love to see it and we're only using 468 watts 468 I'm only using half of my power supply I could I could easily get six cards and get this up to uh, 180 mega hashes a second which would be absolutely insane that's um huh god that's like that's like um around twenty dollars a day I wanna say maybe um but yeah uh, I'm gonna leave this running for an hour uh, then I'm gonna hop up on my uh, second computer and then we can check the hash rate from there so I will be right back all right, so I'm on my uh, gaming PC now, and as you can see, the hash rate right now is 126.73. Uh, this will increase the longer you uh, mine; it will slowly like increase. It it goes it waves a lot though, but um, that's that's pretty good for the current hash rate. So. Um, if I go to mining profitability right here, so if we're getting around, uh, 126, uh, every day we should be getting around $9.46, every week $66.21, and every 30 days we should be getting two hundred and eighty three dollars and seventy seven cents and this this can change a lot because this number will go up and down a lot um it might change if we refresh it now actually huh maybe not but um yeah so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video
Thanks for watching.